Sundar, I, I agree yeah. with you. I agree with you that recommendations have been given. All recommendations have not been adhered to. Fine. Hypothetically speaking, Sundar, if all recommendations are met or most of them are met and the court is convinced that everything is in order now, will then the protest stop? Because, you know, the biggest confusion is, is it the protest against safety or is it against the plant per se? See, there are two things. The policy of the government, the energy policy of the government is being questioned by the people's movement. We are we are questioning the process in which the policy is being implemented. Yes. There's, there's a sea of difference between these two. The people's movement happening in Irinda Karai, Kudangulam area is questioning the energy policy of the government. Hmm. We are questioning the process in which the policy is being implemented. Okay. But because you are admitting to the fact that even if the process is corrected, these people will still continue to protest because they have been told that the plant will spell their doom, even if it is safe. If the process has to be corrected, if law has to be strictly enforced, it will take another five years for them to operate the plant. Uh -huh. So, do, do you think these people are fools? See, these people want justice. Mm -hmm. They are asking for natural justice. They have not been heard. See, there is no concern. There is no opinion. Nothing. There, nobody has gone and talked to them. They have not, these people have not been taken into confidence. When the plan was set up, there was no public hearing at all. They have agreed, they have accepted this thing that there is no public hearing at all. So, so how, do you, do you, do you think, think that that is the crux of the problem? That is the yeah, crux yeah, of the problem because uh, apparently the government never consults the people where it is setting up a project. Is that exactly, the crux then? Exactly, exactly. That is the crux of the problem. And after so much of protest, even they are not able to share the safety analysis report or the site evaluation report. Uh -huh. Even after the people went to the Central Information Commission, the Central Information Commission has given the order to share this before May 25th. Today okay. we are sitting on August 12th. How so confident? Are you that you have a strong case in front of court? Legally speaking, how confident are you that you will have a strong case and you'll actually get the whole fuel loading stopped? Sir, I mean, we have full confidence on the Supreme Court, so only we have come to the Supreme Court, right? Okay. We have got, we have got hundred percent confidence on the Supreme Court, so only we have come to the Supreme Court. Hmm. We are confident that natural justice will prevail. And okay. Now we have not, we have not asked for any recommendations that have been made by the people's movement. We hmm. are asking the recommendations to be carried out by the committee, mm -hmm. formed by AARB, nobody else. Okay. So okay. that many thanks for joining us and explaining thanks. exactly your stand as well. There yeah. is of course the other stand which is a little different from what the people are saying. There is a process issue as well that is involved. The government has flawed in the terms of process. Priyambada, if I can get across no, to you. Listen to me. One minute listen to me. The leader of the protest movement is with us. You can take his thing. No. Yeah. Priyambada, Priyambada, I, Priyambada if I, if I can get across to you, please, please. Make us speak to the leader of the movement because we honestly want to know exactly can there be a solution. Hello, can you hear me? Priyambada, can I get across to you? Hello? Hello? Priyambada, can you hear me? Hello? All right, just a little bit of an audio gitch there. We tried to get uh, Priyambada back online. She has, of course, one of the leaders uh, who is coordinating today's protest with her. Uh, we will, of course, try to establish that connect as well. But very importantly, Sundar telling us here, uh, one of the petitioners who's actually gone ahead and approached the Supreme Court about the process. Uh, which has not been followed as far as Kudam Kulam is concerned. So there are, of course, two angles to this. The government saying that these people have been misinformed, uh, these people have been instigated, and that is why even charges of waging war against the nation really uh, being, being, being slapped on the leaders of this agitation. On the other hand, there is an issue of process. Have all safety norms been followed? Has everything been taken into consideration? No, says uh, say many of the protesters or many of the people who are against this plant, saying that out of 17 recommendations, only six recommendations actually have been implemented if you implement all these other recommendations then it'll take five years for the plant to start work anyways so they are of course trying to stall it on a legal basis and even as that battle in the court goes on the battle very much on here on the ground in Kodam Kulam, just about two kilometers away from the plant uh, you have a massive protest people now in a huge circle uh, protesting 